You know, it's funny down there because you're in the United States and Donald Trump is so focused on jobs and economic growth and the stock market. I mean, he, he talks about it every single day. I think it's, I don't think it's unfair to say Donald Trump is obsessed by jobs and economic growth. I think he would take that as a compliment. It's so, such a contrast, Mark, because up here in Canada, our environment minister is the opposite. She's obsessed with this global warming report. And so is the Canadian media party. Um, they, they're doubling down on the carbon taxes. We live in an alternate universe up here in Canada, but I, I suppose at the end of the day, it, it's sort of impotent. I, I, one thing that caught my eye, Mark, is that Donald Trump just casually introduced a major new program to clean up actual, real pollution in the oceans. So not harmless, colorless, odorless carbon dioxide that um, you, know, you and I are exhaling, but actually cleaning up junk in the sea Trump's all about cleaning up actual pollution. He's not going to waste time talking about how many puffs of CO2 dance on the head of a, a pin. Yes. In fact, right before President Trump famously met with Kanye West and the former NFL great Jim Brown in the White House, he had, of all people, Democrat Senator Sheldon Whitehouse at the signing ceremony for this cleaning up the ocean campaign that President Trump had been championing. And as you mentioned, this is a real environmental problem. The government can actually do something that's going to be putting sanctions and pressure on the governments, particularly in Asia, that are responsible for most of the ocean pollution and plastics and all the issues that we're having. In other words, not using uh, plastic in Starbucks is going to do nothing for the ocean, but actually using U.S. international force to pressure these countries in Asia to clean up their act is. So you had Senator Whitehouse, the number one global warming alarmist in the Senate, praising Donald Trump. Hmm for an environmental issue. It was an amazing sight to see yesterday. You know, it's funny because, of course, and again, I just want to tell you our Canadian story because it's such a contrast. Our environment minister just did a, a TV interview where she brags that at her house, they don't have plastic straws, they have metal straws, which, of course, <laughs> need to be washed in detergent, unlike plastic straws. So she's so boastful about banning straws and plastic straws, and she's on this jihad against straws. But... Of the 10 worst polluting plastic dumping rivers in the world, eight are in Asia, two are in Africa. So the, the cabinet minister in Canada, who's virtue signaling about her metal straws, it's, it's, it's just it's so, it's so laughable. Trump's taken the fight to these actual polluters. I, I can't, it's so funny that he's actually doing the real ocean cleanup, but she's the one virtue signaling. Have you been following our Canadian environment minister at all? I'd love your thoughts on her if you have, or maybe she's just one of a thousand squawkers that you tune out. Well, I think, you know, this is, when you mentioned virtue signaling, that's what everyone is into on these issues. I will give uh, Senator Whitehouse credit, though, for actually saying and, and praising Donald Trump and being there, shaking his hand, giving Donald Trump that photo op. A lot of climate alarmists wouldn't do that. And, you know, at least what, Selden Whitehouse uh, was actually there and was able to swallow hard because he obviously despises President Trump. But most of when you're talking about these other environmental issues, it's all virtue signaling. This is what they're all into. And the Canadian uh, prime minister, the environmental minister that you're mentioning, you know, I don't think she would have had, would have been willing to ever stand on a podium with Donald Trump to actually do something about real reduction in environmental waste. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.